Greetings and welcome to the How to Fork Bitcoin tutorial. In this course, we will be using video screencast tutorials to show students how to initiate a hard fork of the Bitcoin network. This involves beginning to mine a new chain of transactions by running a full node. Our blockchain that we're going to fork from the main Bitcoin network will have an entirely new chain while inheriting the historical record of the existing and original Bitcoin software. We're going to take a look at methods to tweak technical parameters and introduce new use cases so that we can bring new applications to market. We want to understand the Bitcoin payment system and how network nodes contribute their hashing power through a proof of work algorithm to form a blockchain of transactions. We're also going to look at potential methods of scaling Bitcoin so that we can accommodate more transactions and store existing transactions more efficiently. In this tutorial, because we are running a full node, it is required of us to download the entire existing Bitcoin blockchain, which is currently around 300 gigabytes in size. And therefore, we will look at methods of storing the entire blockchain in order to run a full node and initiate a hard fork of the Bitcoin network. If at any time you're interested in learning more, we direct you to the course homepage at www.diginomics.com forward slash question mark P equals 8510. That is the URL to the course homepage. Please take a look at that so you can learn more about this course. My name is Travis Patron. I'm an instructor for this course. I've been an instructor for many other courses available with Diginomics. And we are publishing, first making this material available in December of 2020. People who register for this course and the students who gain access to it do so for their entire lives. It is lifetime access to the materials in this course. So once you punch your ticket, you're in. One of the reasons that we're putting this course forward is that we believe the best and most sustainable way to improve this software and bring new applications to market is through hard forking. This is a procedure that many software engineers in the industry today re resort to in order to enhance the applications and the functionalities of cryptocurrency and indeed already today Bitcoin has been forked a number of time and there are smaller forked chains that command a significant market capitalization. This is not a course for beginners. This is a course for people who are familiar with Bitcoin and are interested in looking at it from a very fundamental protocol level and methods of bringing new applications to the marketplace. As I said, I'm the instructor for this course. My name is Travis Patron. I am the founder of Diginomics Corporation and the author of The Bitcoin Revolution and Internet of Money. This is a book that I originally wrote back in 2013, which explains where Bitcoin came from, where it is today, and where we believe it may be headed to in the future. So if you're from a financial or technical background, we recommend picking up a copy of this book, which goes into more detail about the general trends of Bitcoin and the digital economy in general. I've been an adopter of both Bitcoin and Ethereum in my day, and currently my focus is on educating audiences on the emerging opportunities in the digital economy. You can email me at travis at diginomics.com or phone or text me at 1438 863 3700. 
Digenomics Corporation is a federally incorporated company under the Canada Business Corporations Act and holds a corporate subsidiary in Delaware of the United States of America. Originally founded in 2013, Digenomics Corporation has grown to find a niche position in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency industries by working with adjacent publications as well as providing online research courses and speaking engagements for professionals active in this rapidly growing area of digital economics. We encourage all content producers, writers, speakers, educators, academics, journalists, and technology researchers to contact us if they are interested in publishing to our platform. This is the course overview for the How to Fork Bitcoin tutorial. We will initiate a hard fork of the Bitcoin network and begin mining a new chain of transactions. We will tweak existing technical parameters and explore potential methods of scaling Bitcoin, something that professionals in the industry today often arrive at in terms of a discussion around how to enhance the efficiency of transactions and store transactions more efficiently today. Things such as the block size and segregated witnesses are often topics of discussion in terms of scaling Bitcoin. We will explore Bitcoin operational codes, also known as opt codes, both those currently enabled and disabled at the protocol level. Many people don't know this, but early on in Bitcoin's history, a number of opt codes were disabled at the protocol level. And what these opt codes allow potentially is methods of introducing new information to the transactions. We can actually attach additional information to Bitcoin transactions if we know how to use these opt codes correctly. This is a relatively unexplored area in Bitcoin development. We will reprogram the original Bitcoin client for use with our newly forked chain of transactions. What we mean by this is that we will use Bitcoin Core with our new chain. We want to ensure that the Bitcoin client can be used with our new cryptocurrency that's forked away from the main chain and so we'll be going about how to do that in this tutorial. Recommended before beginning a willingness to challenge existing beliefs and assumptions. There are many people who say that forking it is not a good idea or that certain applications will never make it to market and we encourage people to challenge those beliefs experiment with the technology and try new things that's really the only way that new applications become successful if we're willing to challenge those existing assumptions we recommend basic software engineering skills such as reading and writing syntax testing software creating repositories etc and we recommend understanding the Bitcoin payment system, how network nodes contribute their hashing power through proof of work to form a blockchain of transactions. So this really isn't a course for beginners. It's a course for intermediary and advanced Bitcoin users. We assume that the student has some understanding already of how Bitcoin works. What this course is not, like I just mentioned, it's not an introduction to Bitcoin. We're not going to explain to you the very surface level of Bitcoin. We're looking at the protocol level. We're looking at the source code. We're looking at methods of changing the technical parameters of the existing network. This course is not an overview of how to buy or exchange Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. We're not going to recommend exchanges. We're not going to discuss exchanging fiat currency for cryptocurrency. This is not what this course is about. And thirdly, we will not examine current government regulation of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in your country. 
that's up for you to figure out. We're looking at this from a purely digital perspective and one that focuses on running a full node. Course specifications are roughly 25 to 50 hours of study depending on your experience as a student. Some people will be able to get through this material quicker than others, whereas others will want to go through it at their own pace. And I will mention at this point that any student who registers for this course gains lifetime access. So in a month's time or a year's time or even 10 years time, you'll be able to go back to this course material and use it to learn and help you in your software development and in your career. Most of the information we'll have in this course will be through online video screencasts and written instructions. And we do encourage the student to have at least some degree of knowledge of software engineering and C-level computer programming languages. Bitcoin was written in C-sharp and so that is primarily one of the programming syntaxes that we'll be looking at. So first, what is a hard fork? Forking Bitcoin involves running a new iteration of the Bitcoin core repository. This is one of the most intriguing developments in the Bitcoin industry because with this practice, individuals can inherit the technology of the original Bitcoin implementation and introduce new technical specifications and parameters running on an entirely new software ecosystem. So we inherit the security mechanisms of the existing Bitcoin ledger, but we essentially branch off and begin propagating new blocks and confirming transactions on a new chain. It will not, at, after the point of hard fork, be compatible with the original and main Bitcoin network. This will discontinue the original blockchain ledger and begin mining a new direction historically. One of the best ways to understand this concept is we compare it to a tree. And if you think of Bitcoin network as a tree, the original and main blockchain would be the trunk of this tree. And when we fork Bitcoin, we're essentially creating a new branch and splitting away from that main trunk. It still references the old network, but like we've said, it heads in a new direction. So let's hope our new branch or our new hard fork bears us fruit. An interesting analogy, Bitcoin is like a tree. What is Bitcoin Core? Bitcoin Core is the software implementation, the client that we're going to be using in this tutorial. And we chose it because it is the original Bitcoin client, which was used by the inventor of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto. It allows users to run a full node and support the network by validating transactions securely. A high level of security and stability is required when forking Bitcoin and that is one of the main reasons we recommend Bitcoin Core. It is, however, memory intensive and requires a considerable amount of computing resources, bandwidth, and hard drive space. As it currently sits, the blockchain is roughly 300 gigabytes in size and growing all the time. So we're going to be looking at methods of storing the blockchain and propagating blocks in a sustainable manner in this tutorial as well. It is open source, and perhaps most importantly, there is no third party required whatsoever. It's about as direct to the Bitcoin network as you can possibly get. You can download it at the bitcoin.org website, and we'll be going into this in more detail throughout the course. The How to Fork Bitcoin tutorial we're targeting this towards people who want to understand Bitcoin at a fundamental level. They are looking at the technology as something that holds tremendous potential. And they understand that hard forking the existing software 
is perhaps the best way to tap into this potential. In its very early days, other software, such as the Linux operating system, held potential for a wide array of applications, and it was only over a course of time that people began forking that operating system for very specific use cases, things such as dedicated server hosting, image development, video encoding, black hat or white hat or gray hat activists use different iterations of that operating system. So something like Linux, the original operating system, has really grown organically in that software ecosystem by being forked by people who are interested in exploring specialized versions of that software. And in much the same way, we're going to take a look at what can be done with Bitcoin software by forking the existing repository and heading in a new direction. We highly recommend that you take a look at this course, register for this course, and you'll gain full lifetime access. This course does come with a 100% money back satisfaction guaranteed. If you're not totally satisfied with this course, we will refund your money. There is essentially no risk to registering for this course because we guarantee the satisfaction of our customers and of our students. For a small price, students gain lifetime access to access this course and all material continues to be available through mobile, desktop, or tablet devices. You register for this course and you take it wherever you go and it continues to be available for as long as it is accessible. If you have further questions about the course, please contact us. Our information is available on the website also at the beginning of this video. And if you're somebody who's eager to get started right now and punch your ticket by registering for the course, you can go to www.diginomics.com forward slash question mark P equals 8510. That is the course homepage. That is the best place for information about the course. You can register and once your registration is confirmed, you'll gain immediate access to the course materials and you're free to pursue it at whatever pace you choose. This course is something that is focusing on a practice which has demonstrably been successful in the Bitcoin and more general software engineering industries. People are looking at hard forks as the most sustainable and secure way to tweak the technical parameters of Bitcoin and bring new use cases to market. These people who recognize this potential are who we're going after in this course. We want to provide an instruction that gets straight to the point, does not rely on any third party service but addresses the most fundamental aspects of the Bitcoin source code, how a full node operates to propagate new blocks to a hard fork chain, and even tweaking things such as opt codes and the way transactions are stored and propagated to the network. All these things are gonna be covered in this course we're going to be using Bitcoin Core. It is a very fundamental and imperative resource if you're serious about the Bitcoin industry. I wanna thank you very much for taking a look at this course. I wanna encourage you to register for it without delay. And I promise you that great things are in store when we learn with the How to Fork Bitcoin tutorial. Thank you so much, and we'll see you inside the course.